Aaron, um, just walk us through some of the uh, bullpen decisions, specifically um, going to Britain in the seventh, and then uh, was hap was that a byproduct of DJ's uh, double? Uh, yeah, <clears throat> you know we were prepared to, you know, be aggressive there, and if if we were prepared to try and split up the seventh, eighth, and ninth with Britain and Chappie in that spot, um, but once once we got the lead leverage. Uh, we decided to go with with Jay there for an inning, and and uh, it was good to see him get in a game like that, where um, you know obviously a different role for him. And I thought threw the ball really well. And uh, not sticking with Green longer that was a matchup thing there, or a, um, a little bit in the, in that we felt like we could split it up the seventh, eighth, and ninth, and um, kind of wanted Greeny's potential length for tomorrow as well. Um, so, yeah, a couple of factors leaking into that. Uh, Joel? Obviously, you've watched Torres hit a lot over the last two years, but I wonder if there's a level of appreciation, bases loaded, down 0-2 to a guy who's pretty tough on right-handers in that situation for what kind of at-bat he had there. It, it was a, you nailed it, I mean, a big time at-bat against a guy that was was really tough on righties um, to work himself back into that count. I think the three two pitch that he kind of three quarter swing spoiled to to keep surviving, and then finally got a pitch he could do something with and, and smoked it. Um, it was a huge at bat, obviously in that game. You know, we're kind of looking for that kind of hit. We had you know cre created some pretty good traffic to that point, and and that hit I think really really. Uh, got us rolling from there uh, but it was a it was a big time at bat and a tough spot against a, a tough uh a tough matchup uh andy in the first row Could you take us through the thought process a little of the decision to leave uh paxton in for polanco i'm sure there were pros and cons there and why you came out the way you did to leave him in um we just i i felt good about him going through polanco and polanco had a great night um you know but you know, we'll, we'll keep him on that side, preferably. But he, he had a great night and a great at bat against him. But um, I felt like Pax was pretty strong to that point and and uh, had Otto obviously ready for for Cruz. But I, I felt good about the matchup there. When you started the inning, might you have used Ottavino for that batter? Had Paxton looked differently? You, I assume you're watching him closely. Say that again. Had. You had Adovino up at the beginning of the inning. Yeah, he Would was you? just getting ready. It was more for Cruz. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Anthony, then Mark. Aaron, um, LeMahieu drops the pop-up, but you know, probably didn't expect to see that. What, what's going through your mind when you see that? <laughs> um, you know, weird things can happen sometimes in the playoffs. And, you know, you got kind of a windy night, cold. Um, you know, one of those where maybe he thought Glaber was going to come over, so I don't think he was real committed uh, at it, and then it skips off, and um, and then we end up turning a huge double play, obviously, to get out of that inning, and um, and then DJ goes and says enough, and and finishes off an impressive night. Uh, Mark against the wall. Uh, you, you've talked about wanting to be aggressive with the bullpen, but I think at one point there you had two of your uh, your high leverage guys get two outs, face five batters, and you still got a bunch of outs to cover. So like. I guess did going through some of this last year make you more comfortable to sort of get in that position because it could also go the other way there if you don't expand lead where you're having to cover some innings without some of your best guys. Yeah, um, you know, I just think there were some spots that, you know, I felt good about certain guys in. And, uh, and, and, and the other good thing about tonight is I feel like all of our guys are back in play for tomorrow and, and we're not pushing them necessarily. So... Um, I just felt like there were certain times in the game that matchups we wanted to try and slam the door, and then, you know, fortunately the offense was able to add on to, to uh, you know, allow us to change things up a little bit and, uh, you know, keep Britt to an inning. So it just it, it kind of unfolded in a pretty good way for us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it. you know, Obviously, felt like that was a big point of the game. Wanted Otto for Cruz. Um, Cruz worked a really good at bat on him. I thought Otto threw the ball well. If he gets out of that inning, then then Canely has a clean one there for the sixth, with with everyone behind him. But 
you know, they, they made it tough and had some good at-bats, so we had to get Greeny in the mix, obviously, but um, still felt like we were covered. Just a few last ones, Mike. Uh, Aaron, just, uh, you know, even before Torres is hit, you had guys lay off some pretty tough breaking stuff. Is that kind of in the scouting report against them? And then, you know, Torres, just that's, is that kind of emblematic of his slow heart <clears throat> when you guys always talk about that him up in that spot? I mean, that's, that's controlling the strike zone, and that's, I think, what allowed us to win the game tonight. You know, we won, we won a lot of 3-2 counts tonight. I thought the guys, by and large, up and down the lineup, really made it tough on their pitchers um, because they stayed in the strike zone. And, um, you know, when you do that, you're able to, you know, have a night like tonight where you where you throw up, what, we got 10, right? Yeah. 10, 10 runs. I mean, that's because I, th I, I think it was so difficult on them and we were able to get breakthrough in a couple big spots. We'll do two last quick ones on the right. Just how concerning, if at all, was Stanton's defense in left field today? Not at all. I, I mean, I, the the ball he dove for, thought he moved really well on it, laid out, didn't quite get it. Um, yeah, not, I'm not concerned at all. Uh, Dave, on your left there. Uh, does Aaron sometimes forget he's 6'7 out there in right field? <laughs> uh, with the defense he was playing out there, he was, uh, made some aggressive plays and, and, and a big one, too, with the line drive in the corner there. Yeah, huge. He's so good out there. You know, he. I mean, obviously two great plays where he lays out for balls, but then you see all the other things he does so well, just fundamentally sound, like getting behind balls to, you know, get himself in position to make throws. Um and then on the offensive side, I thought every at bat he had tonight, he was all over everything. So just, you know, what might get lost in that 10-run game is is the, the two big defensive plays that he made out and right. Are you ever going to get over this, him hitting the deck like that, Aaron? Like, I know you feel great about the play. But yeah. But afterwards, is there ever, like, a little bit of a worry, too, or are you past that? I stepped up on the top step, but I felt like I saw him pretty well and, kept it on the chest and I, I, I felt like uh, that one was we are okay with that one. Uh, Bill gets the wall. How was uh, Jay Happ coming out of the bullpen and can we see him start this series? Yeah um, I thought he was really good I, I thought he threw the ball well you know lost Kepler where Kepler worked a tough at bat off him but I thought he threw the ball great and uh, you know it was good to get him out there because I really think Jay Happ's going to play a big role for us if we're going to go deep uh, in this playoffs, and, and it could be in so many different roles. It could be in a high leverage situation for short. It could be a matchup situation. It could be starting a game. It could be in a lot of different roles, and the fact that he was ready for that tonight and came in and picked us up was, was big. We'll finish up with Mark finds him. Aaron, we always talk about Glaber's approach at the plate, but what is it about his personality and his mental game that allows him to, at 22, to thrive in these kinds of situations? He's smart, and he's confident. And that's a really good combination when you're talented. Um, but I think those are the two biggest things. Uh, he he's shown an ability to to make adjustments to understand what 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 teams and pitchers are doing to him. And he has a lot of confidence in his ability. And and uh, you know came up big tonight again. Aaron, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. We'll see you tomorrow.